بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم O believers do not take my enemies and yours as trusted allies showing them affection even though they deny what has come to you of the truth they drove the messenger and yourselves out of Mecca simply for your belief in Allah your lord if you truly emigrated to struggle in my cause and seek my pleasure then do not take them as allies disclosing secrets of the believers to the pagans out of affection for them when i know best whatever you conceal and whatever you reveal and whoever of you does this has truly strayed from the right way if they gain the upper hand over you they would be your open enemies unleashing their hands and tongues to harm you and wishing that you would abandon faith neither your relatives nor children will benefit you on judgment day he will decide between you all for allah is all seeing of what you do you already have an excellent example in abraham and those with him when they said to their people we totally dissociate ourselves from you and shun whatever idols you worship besides allah we reject you the enmity and hatred that has arisen between us and you will last until you believe in Allah alone the only exception is when abraham said to his father i will seek forgiveness for you adding but i cannot protect you from allah at all the believers prayed our lord in you we trust and to you we always turn and to you is the final return our lord do not subject us to the persecution of the disbelievers forgive us our lord you alone are truly the almighty all wise you certainly have an excellent example in them for whoever has hope in allah and the last day but whoever turns away then surely allah alone is the self-sufficient praiseworthy in time allah may bring about goodwill between you and those of them you now hold as enemies for allah is most capable and allah is all forgiving most merciful Allah does not forbid you from dealing kindly and fairly with those who have neither fought nor driven you out of your homes surely Allah loves those who are fair Allah only forbids you from befriending those who have fought you for your faith driven you out of your homes or supported others in doing so and whoever takes them as friends then it is they who are the true wrongdoers O oh, believers when the believing women come to you as emigrants test their intentions their faith is best known to Allah and if you find them to be believers then do not send them back to the disbelievers these women are not lawful wives for the disbelievers nor are the disbelievers lawful husbands for them but repay the disbelievers whatever dowries they had paid and there is no blame on you if you marry these women as long as you pay them their dowries and do not hold on to marriage with polytheistic women but demand repayment of whatever dowries you had paid and let the disbelievers do the same that is the judgment of Allah he judges between you and Allah is all knowing all wise and if any of your wives desert you to the disbelievers and later you take spoils from them then pay those whose wives have gone the equivalent of whatever dowry they had paid and be mindful of Allah in whom you believe O prophet when the believing women come to you pledging to you that they will neither associate anything with Allah in worship nor steal nor fornicate nor kill their children nor falsely attribute illegitimate children to their husbands nor disobey you in what is right then accept their pledge and ask Allah to forgive them surely Allah is all forgiving most merciful O oh, believers do not ally yourselves with a people Allah is displeased with they already have no hope for the hereafter just like the disbelievers lying in their graves